So I know that a couple of weeks ago we were in the kitchen and we were decorating and I still absolutely love it. We gave it sort of a warm, moody English cottage feel and none of that is going to change today. However, I do want to layer in some of those natural, whimsical elements that we did in the living room last week. I love how that room turned out. and. I really want to sort of start bringing those aspects into the kitchen and the dining room, but starting with the kitchen today. I think of decorating a lot as layers. So sort of like with your wardrobe as, you know, the seasons change and the weather starts to get a little colder, you know, you might start September off in a t-shirt and then by the end of the month, maybe, you know, you're layering on a light cardigan. But then October rolls around and you need a heavier, you know, cable knit sweater. And then maybe into November, you need to start bringing in a coat. It's like that, but with your home. I'm, I want to layer in those feelings of fall, those cozy elements, culminating in the pumpkins when they're ready to come out. But just not yet. So the other day I was scrolling through Instagram and on one of my favorite accounts, Seeking Lavender Lane, she had posted this vintage shelf that she had found while she was out like antique shopping and thrift store shopping. And it's meant to be hung on a wall, but what she did with it was so genius. She used it in her kitchen on the counter for displaying dishes. And I thought that was so brilliant and I thought that that was something that would work perfectly in our kitchen. But the problem is it takes time to find pieces like that, to thrift pieces like that, you know, scouring Facebook marketplace. But I wanted that instant gratification. <laughs> I wanted something that I could like make myself or tangibly do right now while I'm waiting to find that perfect piece. And this is what I came up with. So I had this scrap, I think it's a one by six or maybe it's a one by eight sitting in our garage. And I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a set of five of these. They're basically candlesticks. So like you can see they're open here at the bottom. And I just, I stained the board, I stained these, and I thought this would be a perfect way to kind of get that same sort of look, at least a little bit, until I can find the piece that I'm actually looking for.
So one of the elements that I incorporated in our living room last week to give that really overgrown cottage feel were branches from our yard. And I want to incorporate that a little bit into the kitchen as well. So I found this really cool branch that it's kind of longer, but it's got some cool shape to it. So I'm thinking I could hang it up above our kitchen window but I don't want to leave it just as is. I want to give it that sort of fall is coming, but it's not quite here yet look. You know what I mean? Where like some of the branches may be bare, but some of the branches may still have those last few flowers or you know leaves of summer on them. So I've got these. They're sort of a papery fall blossom from Hobby Lobby. I know they still sell these, but I got mine last year and I had already pulled them apart for another project that I had done last year. So they're already sort of ready for me to use. But what I'm thinking is, is that I can pull these apart even more to just where it's like the individual, like this. And then just hot glue them at various points on the, the branches. And I think that that will actually look fairly authentic especially since it's going to be up high and so nobody can closely inspect it, if you know what I mean. So I'm thinking that that could be really lovely. And then it's just going to be that perfect little touch of whimsy up above the kitchen window. And then I was thinking maybe I could add just a couple little butterflies on the branches. And I think that's just going to be the perfect cottage touch. On Wednesday evening, on a bit of a whim and with the help of my youngest daughter, we hung this blanket ladder on the ceiling in our kitchen. I had built the ladder for our previous home and it's just been sitting in the garage for a couple of years now. Since it's pretty lightweight, all that was needed were a couple of toggle bolt hooks for the ceiling, four jumbo cup hooks for the ladder, and some pre-packaged chain. I bought all these supplies at Lowe's for around $13. I think it adds not just interest to the room, but also that perfect cottage detail. Ceilings are so often overlooked and they're such a great opportunity. I just wish our ceilings were just a bit higher so I could hang some baskets without worrying about hitting our heads on them. <laughs> 